Hi everybody, I'm Lady Red and welcome to my channel, Lady Red Stick Reviews. And today I've got another tutorial for you, the second one in the iPhone series. How to move everything from your iPhone to an Android and from Android back to iPhone. So stay here, take a look at the video, leave a like, drop a comment if you have any more questions, and by all means subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, get the notifications for the next videos. Thank you so much for watching. Hi everybody, I'm Lady Red. So today what we're going to do, let's say you've gotten a new iPhone, it's your first iPhone, and you want to transfer everything over from your Android device to your iPhone. How are you going to do that, right? Or if you're finally coming back over to the light side where the awesome people are, and you're going to let go of your iPhone, you're going to go back to Android where you should be because that's where all the cool kids are, then I'm going to show you how to do that too, so stay here. Okay, now what we're going to do, we are going to move your contacts out of the iPhone into Google. We're going to do contacts first, and you want to do that with Google Drive. And you, I've already gone in and downloaded Google Drive to this. Uh, you just get it in your App Store, and if you don't have a Google account, you can easily make one. So I'm going to first sign in. And I'm not going to let y'all see my sign yet. Okay, so we are in Drive. What you want to do, open that up, hit your gear for the settings, back up, contacts, events, videos. Go Google Contacts, Google Calendar, Google Photos. Start back up. And you would definitely, I only put, you know, one in here. Well, three. I put three in here. And that backed up very quickly. However, if you have several, then you will absolutely, definitely, 100% need to be on Wi-Fi and allow yourself some time. Do this before you go in to get your new phone because it will save you so much time. I've seen people say, sit here and wait for hours. You know, these are people that have like 100 contacts. And so, Google Photos and Videos, we're going to do that in a minute. All right. Now open up Google Photos and I'm not gonna let you see my sign in okay so when this comes up after you get signed in you're gonna see what your choices are backup and sync you want to make sure this is turned on use cellular data when there's no Wi-Fi you can turn that on too click confirm and there's the few pictures that I took with the iPhone. And you want to look at this cloud up here. You want to look at that and make sure that has a check mark in it. I'm going to just get a little closer for you. You want to make sure that has a check mark. That means it's backed up. To check it, tap it, it'll say backup complete. That's all you've got to do. Now, Xander, this is an account I had on another device. You know, it's already going to be backed up. If not, definitely check that box to make sure it's backed up. So... What are you going to do now? You're going to go into your Android device, open up Google Drive. and go Okay, now on your Android phone, you're going to want to go to the Play Store and download Contacts. And you're going to open. Grant permission. And you can see exactly the ones from which one. And... And these are the ones that you can see these were backed up from the iPhone. And that's all you've got to do. That right there. And then you have your contacts. They're in Google Contacts, yes. You can leave them there or you can move them. But that's all you've got to do. Thank you so much for watching. I've got to go now. Go ahead, leave a like, drop a comment. Thank you so much. And drop a buck in the tip jar. I think I might eventually buy one. If you want me to have one, drop something in the tip jar for me. I'll buy myself one for Christmas.